In this video, I'd like to talk about the Cobalt 2 theme by Wes Boss. So if you haven't seen Wes's courses, I've heard they're really good, so I definitely suggest you check them out. But in this video, we'll be looking at the theme by Wes himself. So this is a theme for Visual Studio Code. It may exist in other editors, but I really like it. It's one that I've been using for a while, and I think it offers a nice amount of contrast and readability. So as you can see here, we have this yellow as a key tone, and we also have these blue accent colors with this slightly lighter green blue accent as well. We also have a touch of pink in circumstances like this, and our comments are blue. Whenever we select something, it's nice and bright. And I think this offers a great contrast between a dark theme and a light theme, because to me, sometimes dark themes are way too dark and light themes are just way too light. But this offers a nice middle ground that I do think works in all sort of light scenarios, whether it's day, whether it's night, and at the same time offers a great deal of readability. So how do we access this theme and get it set up inside of our Visual Studio code? Well, what we need to do is hit this extensions button here and you want to type in Cobalt 2. Inside of here, we can click the top one, which has 19,000 installs and we can hit the install button. Mine says uninstall, but for you, it should say install. And then what you want to do after that is hit command P and I'm going to put this greater than sign and that will allow us to then say preferences color theme. And from the color theme, we want to select Cobalt 2. Once we've done that, we should then be able to use this theme inside of our project. Now, West does give you some recommended settings that you might want to put inside of your VS Code settings. So for example, we could copy this. We'd then be able to head to our Code Preferences settings, and we'd want to paste it inside of the settings here. Now, I have quite a few, but you'd simply just put them underneath and we would hit Command V. Now there's some extra settings that you can do with this theme and that's done with the VS Code custom CSS plugin. If you click this link here inside of the description, you can go along and follow the installation guide. And potentially you can add the extra stuff inside of that Cobalt 2 custom hacks.css. That will give you just some extra theming inside of the theme. So to wrap this up, I would say that I'm very impressed with this theme. It's uh, one that I've been looking for for a while. A nice contrast between light and dark. Let me know what you think inside of the comments section below and whether you're going to use this theme. If not, tell me why you're not using it and the theme that you're currently using. Hit that subscribe button to stay updated. Don't forget to check out paulhalliday.io for more courses and free content. Until next time, I'll see you very soon in that next video.